you know, you might not be supposed to do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, 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 I done already did that bit right there with a smooth transition right there. Oh yeah, that's just enough. Just, just to knock that burr off the top right there. Kind of akin to honing, I would think. Now let's go turn that. Uh, Oh yeah, that's that, uh, that's that, made in the USA, that's that bunning right there, uh, seven-eighths round it is, and it's a BS7 grade, uh, number on it right there, I think it'll be quite good for this project, but, uh, And I turned that, I grounded that profile on that bit right there. Well, I think it's going to do quite well. Let's put it in here and get done. And at some point, we're going to have to turn this around and go that away on it. Well, whatever I ground that bit for originally... Uh, it, it has some relief on this side right here, so that's the cutting edge over yonder. But but in this in this right here, all I'm gonna do is turn the the stem part, the shank, I guess. Uh, all I'm gonna do is turn the shank down. Well, well, wait a minute. Let's rethink this right here. You know, being fugural, you know, saving material and all being this is a really good piece of metal right here. And, and this is, uh, it, it's, it, it was in a remnant box. It's all, you know, from a, somebody has been made something out of it before, but it's got a hole up in it about this fur, about that much, about three quarters of an inch. And seeing how I need right there an inch and seven eighths, logic would 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 dictate that that should be the bottom and use that amount of material so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off because i need to turn the stem part this part that's two inches long i need to turn that straight and then we'll take it out of the chuck turn it around and turn the taper on it and 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 then while it's in the chuck on this part we'll finish up this hole in the middle thereby saving material let's get that done well I probably should I probably should measure it uh, the total overall length is uh, you know I, I I have neglected to put that put that figure on here so, the total overall length, it's going to be three and one half inches. Okay. So, uh... Well, to mark that off, well, I, I'll just put it up here like this right here, see? So, you know, lo looking at the writing on this right here, if I cut that off in the middle of that S right there, oh, let's get that done. That'll be plenty. Give us a little something for a face-off. Oh, yeah. Right there is that S. We good to go.
let's cut another one. Sawed them two ends off there. Got a nice piece left right there. We're going to make something out of that. I think that's bearing grade. Good quality. But we made a correction right here from, from two inches down to one and a half. That, that's, that's a length on this right here, you know. If you measure it from, from, from that, where we're going to turn it down to from the end, it's one and a half inches. So I corrected that there if you was going by the first impression. Now let's get on over there and turn this one right here. Five. 62, 5, uh, 9 sixteenths. We, 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 we're going to turn this down to 9 sixteenths, and we're going to turn it to a depth of uh, one and a half inches, right there where our pencil is. Let's get that done. And we're starting, we're starting with, uh, it's kind of important to know how much we're going to take off from our, if you're going to use the dials on your machine. We started with nine fourteen. We'll do a little math on that. How about three hundred and fifty two thousand how many we got to take off from that. Uh, figuring the taper best I could there, uh, that's about mm, four degrees maybe. But I'm going to do it the easy way. Okay, now this is what we're making. So we go, we're going to drill a hole up in your inner, and we're going to turn this taper on, on to this on to this thing here we done done already turned. So the way we're going to do that, I'll show you. We're going to turn the cross slide around. The uh, compound, watch this. Yeah, we're going to turn this around and we're going to run it up in there. Let's see how we're going to do this right here now. Because uh, <clears throat> it's very little. It's only like four degrees on the uh down here on the on the dial like uh, oh yeah i I'm thinking it's gonna be around now where's the little thing at oh down yonder it is uh uh four uh Let's see, that's uh, one, two, three. Okay, that's two, four, six, eight. No, that's, uh, that's 50, that's 25. Surely not. One, two, three. <clears throat> the reason I'm questioning that is, uh, see right there is a zero and over there is a 10. But there's only one, two, three marks between that. One of them in the center 
is longer than the other two. So I'm going to say that's 50. That's five. So that would be two and a half, one mark. Wow. You know, that's pretty good, I think. So that's, that's zero right there. So so that, that right there would be two and a half degrees. Yeah. Well, I think it's four. Two and a half. So that's five. See, I think five's too much. So, and I wonder, is it two and a half included? You know what I mean? Uh huh. Well, I, I tell you, I tell you how, I tell you how we're going to answer this. Uh, how we going, how we going to handle this situation? I'm just going to go ahead and tighten that back down right there where it's at. And I'm going to put a dial indicator on here. And then once once we get it right, then I'll just change it out for the 2-bit and change this out for the other piece and run it down through there. And, um, well, in order to line that thing up the back of this the back of this right here is really square and uh, you, you know what I mean it's a real good it's a real good surface to line up with so but but also is this right here and actually I think this could be the this would be more. I'm, I'm going to run this in here and see what it looks like. Okay. So I've got that down yonder. Just looking over in yonder. You know, the part, the part I can see. Well, that's not going to work because that's not high enough. I, I know what I have to do is I'll have to raise that, that block up to center line on that piece of stock so so it'll have a flat, but that's where it's going to be at. Uh, well, let's just see what, let's just see what, what we end up with. Okay. See, see, see. This is that that that's loose to float around. So, so, and I'm right up yonder. So I'm just gonna push that up there to where it on the other side over it lines up with that taper, and I'm gonna lock it down right there. Okay. Now, now I'm going. I'm gonna come away from that. So I will assume that this two post. If I turn the compound. It will go exactly this plane of taper. Let's put us a dial indicator in there and run it down through there and see what we got. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna loosen this again until we do that. Let's uh let's go about this a little bit different. Is that I'm gonna remove the tool post for a short period of time. I'm going to loosen this up, and I'm just going to slide this off of here. I mean, it's a little Chinese-made lathe, you know, but it gets the job done. And I'm going to put this... I'm going to put this... Uh, That's one of them magnetic things right there. Well, yeah. Uh, come around with the, with the cross slide and put some preload up there to that zero. Oh, yeah, we're right on it there now. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the, 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 the compound down the length of this. And... It's uh, it's it's within.
uh, taking in consideration the irregularities in the metal, uh, no, no more than a thousand, not, well, it's not a thousand yet. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and turn that. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it, it's made the, that plunger has made, well, we're almost to the end. And the taper is no more than a half thousandths. Um, oh, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, let's just go ahead and turn that. You know, I can't do no better than that, so. I mean, we got a little movement there, but at some point, you, you, you have to make an educated With guess, this, I think. You know, change a position there. The, uh, uh, oh, yeah. I put a tool. I put a. I put a cutting tool in there and made a dry run from one end to the other. Make sure I had the right amount of travel and um, the just uh, uh, visual. Oh, it's going to work out perfectly. So let's go ahead and machine that.
perfect. Get that hole drilled in the side of that thing right there. We'll be good to go. Oh, yeah. Let's get that file on that. A little burr right there, right there. We'll get that with that file. Good to go. 